Good morning and welcome to our daily devotion insight again this morning. I want to share with you when you don't feel like it. Uh, and uh, my scripture is found in Psalm 119, verse 90. Verse 90 and uh, it ends with 89b and then uh, 90, alright? And it says, Forever, O Lord, your word is settled in heaven. Your faithfulness continues throughout all generations. You establish the earth and it stands. They stand this day according to your ordinances. You know, we all struggle with spiritual discouragement and uh, lethargy, you know? We, we feel tired spiritually. You know, some days our circumstances threaten even to overcome or, overcome or overwhelm us. You know, when we struggle, even sometimes struggling just to pray, struggling just to read the Bible. So many times we just don't feel like doing the things we know we should. For one reason or another, God sometimes seems far off and unreachable. So David faces the, the same like us. He faced these times like this as well in his life. You know, the Psalms are filled with verses that express his despair as well as his feeling of abandonment. It's like, God, you have forsaken me. God, you have uh, really forgotten about me. And David many times expresses feelings and uh, emotions like this uh, in his psalms. So during this psalm that we are reading in Psalm 119 verses 89 and then 95 and uh, highlighted it at verse 90, it says, My circumstances or feelings have not changed God. Uh, my, my circumstances or feelings have not changed God. That's what uh, David says. He's the same God today as he was when he hung the stars in the sky. Uh, let the Israelites through the Red Sea and fed the 5,000. So there's nothing that changes God because He's the same yesterday, today and forever. Uh, the same. So, but for all things are your servants. Uh, all things, are, all, uh, things that happen in our lives, they are an instrument. They are a way that God will help us, teach us, you know, mold us, renew us, refresh us. So all things, even in things affecting me right now, are God's servants. Uh, and the, the circumstance, the people, the events around me are all under God. They are His servants designed to help and bless me spiritually. So that's why in verse 92, uh, David can say, if, if your law had not been my delight, then I would have perished in my affliction. I will never forget your precepts, for by them you have revived me. I am yours. Save me, for I have sought your precepts. The wicked wait for me to destroy me. I have diligently considered your testimonies. You know, recalling God's faithfulness and control over everything that touches us, gives us strength to walk with God, even when we feel like giving up in despair. You know what was David's secret? David's secret is that when I don't feel like it, I remember God's word. I remember God's goodness. I remember the testimonies of God's ways and how God has helped me. You know, after all, our feelings and our circumstances have not changed God. He is perfectly capable of sustaining us if we will only let Him. So we simply need to choose to delight in and diligently consider God's precepts, His ways, His word, His character, despite how we feel. Choosing to delight in God might not be easy. It might even involve hard work. But only God can revive and save our soul from spiritual lethargy. Next time you feel spiritually drained or inadequate, remember that you and I have a choice. You can wrap yourself up in excuses and self-pity or you can choose to draw your strength from an unchanging God. Let this be our prayer. Say, God, you know, even when I don't feel like it, even I, when I feel that you are so far away that I will choose to say, God, you will never change. You don't change. You are the same. You are always faithful and help me to be strengthened and to walk with you further and not be overwhelmed by my circumstances. In Jesus' name, amen.